Good morning. Today's video is going to be a double feature about the sound and temperature. So let's get to it. All right. So I'm here standing out by the road. And of course, now that I'm doing a thing about sound, the traffic has stopped. But generally speaking, you'll hear it in a moment. It gets pretty loud out here by the road. It's a main thoroughfare. A lot of cars come through here, especially during rush hour. Some of my previous videos, you can hear a lot of the traffic in the background. I'm gonna take you inside the house so you can actually see the difference uh, in the sound and what you hear and what you don't hear. All right, follow me. Okay, so I'm in front of the house. You can still kind of hear some of the traffic. Um, it's better, but now let's go inside. Silence. This is what it's like inside the house. You can't hear a thing. Um, in my old house, I remember after I had finished it, my neighbor started jackhammering out his driveway and I couldn't even hear it from inside my house. He was directly across the street out of the front. The front of this house um, is two by eight construction and it's uh, got blown in insulation. So it's, it's very well insulated. Um, which brings me to the next part, the temperature. So the temperature in Topanga at night around this time of the year has been dropping into the 40s. And yet the temperature in here is still mid 60s. Uh, let me find my thermometer. It's kind of hard to see, but it's about 65 in the house. Um, and the temperature doesn't fluctuate much. During the day when it's gotten super hot outside, uh, which has happened in the last couple of days, it's probably gotten up into the 80s. Um, it still stays cool in here. So the temperature in here doesn't fluctuate much. And that's because most of these outer walls are basically surrounded by earth and the temperature of the earth doesn't change rapidly. It doesn't change the way the temperature of the air does. So this is one of the reasons why the house is so energy efficient. When it's cool, it stays cool. When it's warm, it stays warm. So these houses use about 80 to 90% less energy for heating and cooling. In fact, there's no air conditioning in this house whatsoever. We didn't put it in. Um, it's not necessary. And the heating system, which is behind me over here, is just a wall furnace. Those wall furnaces are, I think it's 40,000 BTU. That's normally used to heat about a 400 square foot cabin. Um, my previous house, which was 2,500 square feet, used one of those and it easily heated the house. Um, I think I fired it up once or twice during the winter for maybe a half hour, and then the house would stay warm for like a week or two, because the heat doesn't get back out. Um, this time, they required one on the first floor and the second floor, even though the odds are the one on the second floor won't ever even get used. But there was something in the code, once again, that required I had that heating thing, so we put it in. Um, but like I said, it's not gonna get used. And this house will remain cool uh, naturally. In fact, when we were building it last year, even when the house was open and there were no doors and windows in, during the summer it would be 90 to 100 degrees out and we'd come inside the house for lunch and it was nice and cool in here. And that was before we had completely covered it with dirt and it still had openings. So the energy efficiency of these houses is great. So that's the video on sound and temperature. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.